All right, so let's get into it, people. Acer Spatial Labs View Fam, a portable 4K 3D gaming monitor fam. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Big shout out to the guys at Acer for sending this down for me to check out. I just wanted to show you guys what it's saying really, have a little calm conversation with you guys about this new tech because like I said, I've not really seen anything like this well i've seen portable monitors but not with 3d like stethoscope. what they call it stereoscopic you know them words there fam <laughs> so anyway let's start off with the specs um i guess i've already told you them mostly it's an ips panel um would have liked to see an oled one in the future hopefully fingers crossed on that um we've got 3840 by 2160 um for the resolution so yeah just true 4k with that 60 hertz maximum so yeah you're getting all your 4k 60 which should be good enough for most systems especially stuff like the ps5 and stuff like that um fun fact fam i've been using this for a couple of weeks now and i have to let you guys know that when you're trying to get the 4k 3d effect it's only possible on a gaming pc or gaming laptop that has the spatial labs software it's not just a plug and play 3D thing so you can't get your Nintendo Switch and put it into 3D you can't get your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series XS and put that into 3D it has to be a PC with the Spatial Labs View software furthermore fam when you're using your PC your PC has to be at 4K resolution in order to get the 3D effect to work in the software fam. It's a thing where if you're at 2K resolution, yeah, if you're at 1080p resolution, you'll get a little error message from the, um, the 3D software basically telling you that we're not gonna use no 3D unless you're at 3840 by 2160, essentially 4K, which is a calm thing if you have a PC capable of gaming at 4k resolutions effortlessly i don't mean just about able to game at 4k i mean this pc that you have has to be able to just push 4k graphics with no issues so for laptops we're looking at 3070 rtx settings or for desktops we're looking at um what they say they're looking at desktops i think 2080 in it because obviously you know the desktops are a little bit powerful than laptops but yeah when you've got all of that you get everything that this thing has to offer and it's kind of lit now in terms of ports um the left hand side of the device behind the screen um you've got a usb 3 0.0. I'm not sure if it's 3.2 or 3.0. I'll put the correct thing in the description section. Um, you've got a little power plug there. You've got a USB-C and you've got a HDMI. And on the other side, you've got, it looks, you've got a menu button, you've got a menu toggle, and you've got an SD card reader, a full size SD card reader. I wasn't expecting to see that in this portable monitor, but that is something you have. The back part also kind of doubles as a kickstand. And I realized that this bump is because there's actually a built in battery inside this screen. So you don't actually have to have this thing plugged into power. It can work independently on its own as long as it's HDMI into whatever device you're using it with. So it's not that you can't can't use it with your PlayStation 5 or you can't use it with your Nintendo Switch but if you do use it with normal gaming consoles you're not going to get the 3D effect you can get 4K but you're not going to get 3D now talking about the 3D effect yeah <laughs> it's wavy it's low-key wavy I don't think I've had this much 3D since man played Nintendo 3DS and that was such a small screen it was more depth then 3D which pops out at you. But I was playing with like the model view and I know the B-roll is not gonna sell it to you guys because you're seeing this video in 2D. It's one of them things where you literally have to be there to see how much this like these um objects pop out on the screen. I was like I was asking people to look at the 3D effect and stretch their hands out to where they feel the pop out of the object is coming out and people were like a couple inches away from the screen saying yeah this is how much the object is popping out in the 3d object viewer 
um, which is wild fam, like that, I don't really think I've seen 3D that's that strong. And the fact that you don't have to use glasses means for glasses wearers like myself, that's even better, even less complications kind of thing. 3D gaming was quite dope as well. Admittedly, I only played God of War and a couple of the Ori games. Um, I also played another game with a magician and the knight and um, I can't remember what it's called, but that game, some 2D side scrollers really looked good with all the depth that was added because of the 3D stereoscopic effect. But it was only really God of War, which kind of gave you this kind of 3D pop that's coming out at the screen as well as there being depth in the game that you're playing fam and I'm not gonna lie guys playing a game in 3D it hits different it hits different like I never deeped it before I never deeped it you can't deep it on the 3DS because the screen is so small but having a screen that's a lot bigger like this um yeah it was looking wavy I don't even remember playing 3D games back on my 3D TV mostly because I think a lot of the games back then weren't designed or developed for 3D so my TV what it would have done I'm assuming is just convert the 2D image into 3D um, so that you'd kind of have a fake 3D effect which just never looked as good as something which was generally designed for 3D. But there's a lot of games that Acer have even given you a list that you can see are compatible with the 3D settings and um, yeah like I said Ori and God of War they do look really good and oh, I'm so annoyed that I can't show you fam like I can only show you this b-roll but the b-roll is in 2D you guys are not deep in it three-dimensionally like you deep it when you see it in person um, if there's some shops that have this stuff on demo then i'll definitely put that in the comment section below so that you guys can go and literally have a look yourself because the software is looking crazy fam yeah i'd definitely say it's a w product what would be wicked for me is if you could use it at lower resolutions so that people don't have to have high-end pc equipment in order to use your 3d 4k screen another thing that would have been sick would be if the 3d effect could be added onto anything that you plug in so like if it could work on playstation if it could work on nintendo switch if it could work on xbox and them things there just plug and play that would be sick fam because then you've got it magically turning anything into 3d family yeah, that would definitely be wavy and lastly it would definitely be cool if they made a monitor version like a 27 inch imagine an ultra wide 3d gaming monitor fam like with no glasses um it would be wicked if you had one where it could have more than one person looking at the 3d effect because as far as this portable monitor goes you can only have one person getting the 3d effect effect at a time kind of thing um you can kind of get a 3d ish image if you view it from the side but it's only really the one person that sits in front of the monitor that gets the 3d effect so that's also something to bear in mind but yeah no this technology coming back and coming back with a bang i'm hopeful for seeing what it's gonna do in the future from this little first gen definitely looks wavy